Jane Velez Mitchell here for The Fix, and here is a question. Very nice comment. Uh, congratulations on your upcoming anniversary. Does avoiding alcohol get easier over time? Well, uh, let me say, knock on wood, if I make it to April 1st, I'll have 18 years. Hallelujah. Never thought I could go one full day without drinking. Uh, I was a blackout drinker um, and a somebody who really did drink every single day. Not every day to blackout, but I, I really couldn't get to sleep without a drink. Now, yes, it does get easier um, in some respects. In other words, the craving is gone. Thank God. For me, I feel like that uh, obsession has been lifted. But there's a saying in sobriety. Either you're working toward more sobriety or you're working toward a drink. In other words, sobriety is not stagnant. It's not a dead thing. It's a living thing. So I find when I'm not actively working uh, a good program of sobriety, the first thing that goes is emotional sobriety, and I'll become emotionally unsober, and I'll start behaving like a dry drunk, essentially. And uh, it's an alarm bell. On my best days, I can recognize that's happening and say, oh my gosh, I am not emotionally sober. Let me get back on the beam uh, emotionally and spiritually. So I, I really feel that that's the fabulous part about sobriety. It's, it's like a living, breathing thing that we get to work on every day so that we understand ourselves better. We have a, a deeper understanding of, of who we are and what our purpose is. And um, so it makes it fun. Sobriety is the greatest adventure. Uh, Jane Velez Mitchell for The Fix. You can watch me weeknights on HLN at 7 p.m. Eastern. Check it out.